Hello everyone, Berserker here, and welcome to this video in which, uh, you know, today I just woke up, wanted to make a video, but I wanted to make kind of a different video, just a more chilled uh, video in general, because as I mentioned in my last previous previous videos, this week is going to be very stressful for me, and it already has been. So I'm trying to relax as much as possible, even though tomorrow I actually have a new series starting. Uh, it's going to be either tomorrow or the day after, but anyways, for today I just decided to make kind of a different video you know a shorter type thing in which I just talk about something the game in the background uh, might be a little bit surprising for you but it's Euro Truck Simulator I bought this game yesterday fell in love with it I she I've actually wanted to buy it for for a while now so I finally bought it yesterday and I I, I I just love it it's a very chilled game you can just play do something else you know listen to something or you know do something like that so I just like it a lot but anyways, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I came up with um, my nickname, which is Berserkit, that I use on this channel, and that I, you know, that's generally the nickname that I use. Um, and the reason for this is because today, uh, this morning, I was browsing the HLTV forums, and the HLTV forum is a place where people talk about CS in general. HLTV is probably the biggest uh, site about, like, CS news and the biggest CS forum and stuff like that and you probably know that I'm in the CS I've mentioned it quite a few times I actually used to be in teams I used to play competitively I don't anymore but I still love the game and I still play it occasionally so yeah um, there was a thread in which uh, you know people you know there was this guy asking about what's your nickname and what's the story behind it and how you, you came up with it and uh, there are generally a lot of trolls on HLTV especially on the forums uh, but you know some people were actually genuine um, and they were telling their story about you know their nickname and how they came up with it and it was very interesting to read and I decided to do the same thing uh, with uh, my nickname so how did it all start um, the first time I actually used Berserkhead was uh, about five years ago may not be exactly five but somewhere around that um, when I was actually playing World of Warcraft because I had played World of Warcraft before uh, but um, I've, I had been playing on like pirated servers and I never bought the game because that was the thing that people used to do and I used to do it as well. They, they still do it actually in my country. Uh, but yeah, uh, people like five or six years ago generally over here, they didn't really buy video games. They were a really small minority that did. Uh, and now there are more and more people that actually buy games, which really, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying to see. But anyways, I, I just bought World of Warcraft and I, I just started playing in the Blizzard servers. And uh, that was one of the first characters that I make, uh, made and uh, he was a troll shaman. And if you know uh, stuff about the Warcraft universe, uh, trolls are a little bit, you know, they're kind of like tribal, African voodoo culture type guys. You know, it's kind of hard to explain, but they use the word berserk a lot. And, uh, you know, they have spells and stuff like that. Look, my Warcraft lore is uh, not very strong because I haven't, uh, you know, read about the Warcraft universe or I haven't played the Warcraft games in quite a while. So it's a little bit rusty. But they use the word Berserker a lot and they have a lot of Berserkers. And usually in World of Warcraft you have names like, you know, kind of like Viking names. You know, Doomhammer, you have uh, Hellscream and all, you know, all that stuff. Like two words combined together. So I was making this troll character, and I was trying to come up with a name uh, for it. And uh, he was a shaman, and for some reason I wanted um, to have the word berserk in his name, because once again he was troll, a troll, and um, you know uh, that was a very common word in uh, you know the whole troll culture and stuff in the Warcraft universe. So you know I tried different things. You know I wanted to have this Warcrafty name, so I tried like. Um, berserk lightning or like berserk sword but they were all taken and then I was like look trolls have like really crazy like haircuts and stuff like that and he had like a mohawk type of thing and um, you know it was like red hair and stuff like that so I was like why not berserk it because like his head looks kind of you know crazy because of his haircut so you know that made sense and the name was not taken so I started leveling up this character I really dig the whole troll shaman thing and uh, yeah that's how I, I was playing World of Warcraft but then I stopped playing World of Warcraft because I, I just lost interest in the game and people around me generally stopped playing it 
and um, actually the interesting thing about it is that I never I never level up this character to like the maximum level in what a Warcraft I was just one level behind and then I was like no I, I don't want to play this game anymore because it was monthly subscription as well so it's kind of expensive to to play it and you know when you lose interest you just stop playing it and uh, I never came back to it but uh, shortly after that I really got into into the Vikings and uh, you know, I would uh, I would read about people like you know Eric the Red and uh, you know Ragnar Lothbrok and Lothbrok by the way means uh, hairy breaches, like Bjorn Ironside, uh, Sigurd Snake in the Eye, and people with those crazy you know Warcrafty type uh, nicknames. And I was like, look, Berserket kind of sounds like a Viking name, doesn't it? Because once again, the word Berserk is actually got Viking origin, like a Scandinavian origin. Uh, Norse and uh, it's got a meaning you know in uh, Norse culture and stuff like that so Berserk it actually kind of sounds like a Viking name because a lot of those Viking names don't really um, make sense like fair hair for example you know um, one of the Norwegian kings he was actually the guy who united Norway um, and you know they have interesting story about him you know for example uh, what do they call Ragnar Lothbrok uh, which means hairy breaches once again what do they call him that it's got a very interesting story behind it it actually has to do with a saga where um where he had across like a icy lake um so there would be kind of like icicles on his breaches and they would look you know kind of weird so they, they started calling him like hairy breaches and stuff like that and all of those names have like interesting origin and stuff like that and uh, i just decided to keep berserk it because I guess it just sounds like a Viking name, doesn't it? Uh, two words combined in one that don't really make sense if you use them otherwise. Uh, you know, if it's not a nickname. And it just sounds cool, you know, Berserk. I, I've always liked, you know, kind of liked it. Even though, once again, it doesn't really make sense and people get really confused. They're like, oh, what's your name? Like, Berserker Head? Or, like, they can't read it or they just mispronounce it or they just call me Berserker or something when they don't know my real name. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's the story behind my nickname. It's not too exciting, but you know, it. Um, I guess it goes back a few years, and it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, kind of a short video. Once again, I just wanted to make something chilled. Once again, I have I'm gonna have a new series starting tomorrow or the day after. It's gonna be something interesting, something a little bit different. Since I'm finishing the Danes campaign, I decided to just replace it with something, and uh, it's not gonna be an Attila campaign. Once again, it's gonna be something a little bit more different. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit short, but once again, just wanted to make something uh, something like that today. I just felt like it. So yeah. That's going to be it for, for today, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.